they are everywhere, on scaffolding, in garbage bins, in the subway, and on the streets. One, two, three, four. If we, if we were to really look in here, you would find even more of them. Carol Morrison has seen plenty of rats before on the streets in Brooklyn, where she lives. But now it has turned into a disaster, she says. The plastic bags are out on the street because the plastic ba bags are just invitations. That's a smorgasbord on the street. Morrison is a Brooklyn activist who fights against rats. This heap of papers contains the addresses of houses where sanitation norms are being ignored. Some house owners have over 400, sometimes even 500, violations on their record. And there were 60 extermination visits by the Department of Health to this building alone. And there were $1,200 in violations that were issued. It is often said New York City has five times more rats living there than people. While no one knows for sure how many rodents truly live in the Big Apple, it's clear COVID has been good to New York's rats. Oh my God, look at them all. An example? those outdoor dining sheds. They're empty now, except for the rats. Yeah. These days, an evening stroll can often turn into an urban rat hunt using dogs. Oh, uh, this is okay. We usually have better nights. We usually do 40. We usually have 40 rat nights. Tonight, 26. Every year, New York City authorities invest millions of dollars into projects to deal with the rodent problem. One $32 million program was aimed at improving conditions of city buildings in a few areas, including Brooklyn and parts of Manhattan. It helped for a time. The rats disappeared, but then came back, putting the future of the program at risk. Another initiative that cost the city authorities $5 million introduced mint-scented trash bags. The, the theory was that the rats would be repelled by the, by the bags. Well, the rats were not repelled by the bags, and we wasted $5 million. Incoming New York City Mayor Eric Adams has a history with rats. While he was the Brooklyn Borough President, Adams introduced smart rat traps into the area. It's unclear whether he plans to do the same in other parts of the city in January when he takes office. But for now, dogs are on the job. Vanina Vishnyova in New York, NRI's Viewing News.